Hello, St. Andrews, and welcome to this week's edition of Chancel Chat. Uh, today is Wednesday, the 30th of November, the final day of the month, but also, more importantly, the Feast of St. Andrew, our patron saint. And we observe the feast with a uh, wonderful service of word and sacrament at the Dobbins Chapel this morning. There were 14 uh, people uh, in attendance, and we had a great celebration. Uh, St. Andrew is an important figure, obviously, in the life of the church. He was the first of the apostles to respond to Jesus' invitation to follow him. He's the patron saint of fishermen, golfers, uh, Russia, and Scotland. And so uh, we honor and observe uh, the feast of our patron saint uh, appropriately uh, this morning. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, uh, we'll be uh, uh, observing the second Sunday in Advent at services at 5 o'clock on Saturday evening and then at 8 and 10 on Sunday morning. And each year during the second Sunday of Advent, we hear the voice of John the Baptist who comes storming out of the Judean wilderness wearing animal skins and eating bugs and shouting at us. So we'll look forward to our annual encounter with John the Baptist uh, this weekend. Looking ahead to next week, uh, I'm going to be on my Advent retreat at uh, the Monastery of St. Mary. In, it's a Benedictine monastery in Morristown, uh, New Jersey. So I'll be away Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and back Wednesday afternoon. Uh, looking ahead to the weekend, uh, on Saturday the 10th of December, we'll be having a lector seminar at 10 a.m. in the sanctuary. This is for everyone who reads lessons at any of the services here at St. Andrews but also an invitation to anyone who would like to uh, join the, uh, the team, the roster of lectors. Uh, so we'll be going over some of the basics of how to prepare to read uh, the scripture in, uh, in the services of worship here at St. Andrews. Uh, then at 11 o'clock, our altar guild will be having a, a special meeting. We'll begin with a simple celebration of the Holy Eucharist in the chapel, followed immediately by the meeting. Uh, five o'clock service next week, uh, Father Bob Lignani will be preaching and presiding. And then at 6.15, our monthly confirmation class will be meeting in the parish house. Uh, looking ahead, later in the month of December, on Thursday the 14th, uh, the 15th, I'm sorry, of December, we'll be having the greening of the church at 10 a.m. And we would uh, invite volunteers to come and help us to decorate uh, the sanctuary for the uh, celebration of Christmas. Uh, Breakfast with Santa on Saturday, on Sunday, uh, de December 18th, after the 10 a.m. service. And then at 3 o'clock on the 18th of, uh, of December, the Sunday before Christmas, uh, the Rancocas Valley Singers, who uh, rehearse here at St. Andrews every Tuesday evening, will be having their uh, holiday uh, Christmas concert. And, of course, the concert is open to the public. Um, and then uh, looking ahead to our celebration of Christmas, well, Christmas Eve is on Saturday, December 24th. We'll be having a children's mass at 4 o'clock, and then um, a musical prelude at 10.30, followed by a midnight mass uh, when we celebrate the feast of the uh, Nativity of our Lord, uh, beginning at 11 o'clock in the sanctuary. Uh, then the next day, Christmas Day, uh, Sunday, December 25th, we'll be having a single service at 10 a.m. And one week later, on New Year's Day, we'll also be having a single service at 10 a.m. And then we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany of our Lord, uh, which marks the end of the 12 days of Christmas uh, on Friday, uh, January 6th. when we'll have a potluck supper at 6 o'clock, followed by a celebration of the Holy Eucharist. So that's our schedule. Looking forward to uh, this very busy time, but very exciting time in the life of the church. So that's about all I have uh, for today. I hope you and your family have a bright and blessed Advent, and we will talk again next week. God bless you.